So here is Chester. He's a gorgeous, big Persian boy. Been to us a few times now. He's a regular visitor. And he's coming today uh, just to sort his coat out, really. So once we've got him on the table and had a good assessment of him, he doesn't actually need a full clip. He has had full clips in the past because he loves to go out and sit in the rain. And of course, it does his coat no favours. So um, I'm having a good assessment of him and chat with Dad. I just said if I can give him a thorough groom through on the top. And he was quite matted up the sides. But actually, what I wanted to show you today, because I'm going to do a belly clip on him. I've actually been grooming him for a good half hour. And you can already see what has actually come out of him on the floor. And that's just with the molten comb. Um, and some of these mats that were here originally have come away just with the molten comb. So I don't have to take the clip quite as high. Because originally I thought we might have to clip him quite high on the belly. But they've come away with the comb. So it's the usual technique. It's the lifting up of the hair, getting into the part line and going in down the bottom of that part line and holding the skin with this other hand. And it's just a case of thinning this coat out. And by thinning it out, you're actually helping the mats from forming. And then all you do, when you're happy that there's nothing there, I can see one there, there's, that's further forward on the leg, I'm gonna leave that alone for a minute. Once you're happy with that bit, you just, next section, you just let a little bit more of the fur down and you go in right at the part line again. And then again, and you're going in and down right to the end of the, right to the end of the coat. Next little bit, right the way down. This hand's always here. In at the part line and down and down. And that way you know that that whole section has got no mats in it. The comb has took away a lot of the dead fur. And that whole section is lovely. Okay, and you can see the difference once it's combed through, how lovely the comb goes through to say the next sec, and you can see it with your own eye how fluffy this is compared to how nice and smooth this is. And all you do, you do the same. Go to the next section, go in at the part line, down, and you just let the next little bit of hair up. And Chester is such a good boy for me. Um, he's just sitting still. And this comes with regular visits. Now he just had a little spin round at me then because obviously there was something just pulling there. Yeah, I know, baby boy. But that's come away now. He was letting me know. And that's fine, that's all through. And then you just do your next little section. Yeah, you're telling me, aren't you? That's where it's matted. So we're just taking literally the thickness away, like the, the dead hair and the thickness away from the coat. And that comb now is going through there beautifully, there's no, nothing pulling. So that section is all done and feels lovely because I've been working on that for the last sort of half hour, well the whole coat really for the last half hour. And that's the whole thing is you, as you're combing, you're bringing their own natural oils through the coat which helps condition the cat as well and um, it's instead of having to put products on them their own conditioning is the best by far and then when you're happy that there's no more mats and the coat's thinned out enough for you then you can go with the zoom groom and do a bit with the zoom groom and this really promotes the oils through the coat and also the cats love it because it's nice and relaxing Great for the blood circulation. Hey Jess. Yeah. He says, oh, don't mind this bit. You don't mind this bit. No. So this is rather nice. Oh yes. Yes. Good boy. And then we'll move on to doing his belly trim in a bit. As you can see here, 
It's the back of the hind front legs actually. The usual places he's got mats here. So we're going to snip those away when we do the belly. In fact, I'm going to do them now because he's in such a nice position for me. Good boy. Go. Yep. Go. And then we'll get on and do the belly. Hey. He's a good boy. So Chester's got the usual, what I call them, the sausage rolls. Right. Down the leg there, going up towards the bum. He's very uncomfortable as he's walking. I'll just get those away for him. I'm going to give him a little bit of a bum clip because uh, he's got quite a bit of muck around here. Haven't you, mister? Chester? Let's get these away for you. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. <laughs> Give me that foot. <laughs> that foot's not helping me at all there. Yeah. There we go. So that's that big. Sausage roll, come away, you'd never get a comb through that. It's just all the motion, the walking. Um, it just rolls and goes into these clumps. And the only thing you can do is clip them away. So that's that one gone. It's the one on the other side as well. Hey, Mr. Chester, can have a little look? Come around there for me. Good boy. You ready? Are you ready? Are you steady? Uh, over we go. Oh, good boy. Good boy. He's a big boy, aren't you? Aren't you, Chest? Where's that leggy? Where's that leggy? It's not over properly. No, it's not over properly. That's better. Good boy. Good boy. Let me see. Good lad. Now, he hasn't got one on this side. But I'm going to shave him anyway. And then that'll give him a good few months clear of anything forming again. So this is just a case of um, asking Dad if he can to get the comb here as the fur's growing back. And that would prevent that from happening. Oh yeah, I know baby. So that's all between there, done. Just doing right up in that joint. Okay, baby, good boy. Good boy, good boy. There is a mask here. I just want to get this out here. Good boy, Chester. Good lad. That's a good boy. Yeah. Now, yeah, what's a stop? Look at that. So she says, oh, I'm being a good boy, I am. <laughs> Let me just get some of this tum tum off. Whoa! These them leggies! These them leggies! Mm. Now I'm not clipping him mega mega short here because he's not actually matted but I'm just taking him a little bit short so no one will see. I just wanted to go shorter in the main areas here where the leg joints and the hip joints is. Okay baby, let me just do a nice neat job here for you. Good boy.
There you go. Good boy. And all I've done really here is just take a little bit of length off. It will just help Dad with any grooming. What's a good boy? Hmm, what's a good boy? I'm just checking the armpits. Nothing there and nothing there, so that's fine. And just a little short in there of where the bib is. And what a good boy Chester is. Hey, what a good boy Chester is. Yes. Here we go. So here's Chester. All done. All looking lovely. All mats been removed. Oh, sorry Chester. <laughs> Yes, let's just check on the top of that head. Oh, you come for a cuddle. You come for a little cuddle. So I'm just going to clean his eyes before I put him in the basket. But apart from that, this little fella's done. Aren't you? Are you going to show everybody your lovely face? Hey, how are you? He says, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, good lad. So if you like the videos, please hit the like, the thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel and that helps the algorithms with YouTube get the videos in front of more people and it spreads the story of how we should be grooming and looking after our pussy cats. Hey, yes, you see my boy Chester? He's, no, I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Say bye bye to all the viewers, all the Love Cats fans.